here I am in my WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, I have three plugins installed. I have Gravity Forms, Gravity Export Lite, and Gravity Export. So Gravity Export does require Gravity Export Lite to be installed, and that is the free version, uh, which you can get from our website or from the WordPress uh, plugin repository. So the first thing we need to do is actually enable the export functionality and then configure our first export. So I'm going to go to the Forms page here in Gravity Forms. As you can see, I've got a single form set up. And I'm going to hover over Settings and scroll down and click on Gravity Export. There's actually three feeds here on, on the left. So we've got Gravity Export, Gravity Export Filters, and Gravity Export Save. And if I quickly run through these, uh, the first one here is where we actually enable the functionality and configure our export. Gravity Export Filters allows us to configure additional reports with different uh, filters and configurations. And then Gravity Export Save allows us to send reports to remote storage, like Dropbox, um, or uh, a server running FTP, or even our local storage. All right, so let's go ahead and enable the download URL. OK, so as you can see, Gravity Export has generated a unique download URL for us. And uh, this is the URL we're going to call to actually export our data. And um, the next thing we need to do is actually configure the report. So let's scroll down a bit. Um, here you'll see an embed shortcode. We can actually embed the download link using this shortcode. Here we can set a custom file name. And here we can change the file extension. So Gravity Export supports Excel, uh, CSV, or PDF reports. Here we can do an instant download if we want to. And then scrolling further, we have the security settings. This is enabled by default, uh, just to make sure that shortcodes are secure when you're using them. And here we can change the download permissions. So if you want this to be a public URL that anybody can access to download the data, uh, you can keep it on everyone can download. Alternatively, you can change that to logged in users. Um, and this means that only logged in users with the export entries uh, capability will be able to export data. OK, scrolling down more, we have the general settings. Here we can include entry notes in the export. Um, and here we have the option to actually attach single entry reports to a existing Gravity Forms notification email. So for example, I could attach that to my admin notification. And then every time a new entry is submitted, um, it would be exported with Gravity Export and then attached uh, to that email notification. So I would get an Excel file in this case, along with each uh, notification email. OK, great. Um, we can also change the column positions. We can order by uh, a certain field. We have the ability here to split lists fields and nested form fields into multiple rows for easier data analysis. Uh, here we have the PDF export settings. We can really customize the uh, look and feel of our PDFs. And then finally, here we have the field settings. Um, all the fields by default are enabled, but if there are certain fields you don't want to show up in the report, you can simply drag them into the disabled fields column like this. So that about does it for the configuration. Let's go ahead and save that. And then to actually download our data, all we need to do is Put this, uh, copy this URL into our browse browser, and that will trigger the report. So here is what that report looks like. OK, cool. So let's move on to Gravity Export Filters. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new filter feed. And here I can give it a name. So I'm going to configure a separate report that I'm going to send to my client. So I'm going to call that Client Report. There we go. And here again, I can select uh, a custom file name and an extension. This time, I'm going to use PDF. And again, I can change the permissions here. And then we have the field settings. And let's go ahead and disable some of these fields. And then scrolling down, we have the ability to add conditional logic. Um, so here we've got a really advanced conditional logic uh, interface that you can use to kind of filter the entries in your report. 
So for example, we could say something like uh, only include entries where the email uh, contains, and then we could say at gravitykits.com. Any entry with an email address that's not a gravitykit email address wouldn't be included in the report. And then save the settings. And again, Gravity Export generates a unique download URL that we can use to export the data. OK, finally, let's um, configure the Gravity Export save feed. And again, this will allow you to uh, send reports to remote storage. So first, we'll give it a title. And here we can choose if we want to include all the entries in the report or just a single entry. Here under Export Filters, I can choose an existing filter feed. So for example, I can select my client report. And then my save report will use the same enabled fields and conditional logic settings as that filter feed. Here we have the option to trigger the report every time a new entry is submitted, or we can trigger it manually. If you uh, decide to trigger it manually, you'll have to manually call a public URL. I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, so let's scroll down here. And we can adjust some of the report settings, like the file name, and we can change the extension again. And then finally, we have the storage type. So we can choose to save reports to Dropbox, um, a server running FTP, or even our local storage. For Dropbox, you'll have to um, connect your Dropbox account. To do that, you'll need to go to the Gravity Kit settings. Um, and you can do that by just hovering over Gravity Kit, clicking on Settings. I'm going to open that in a new tab so I can show you. So this is what the settings screen looks like. And then I'm going to click on Gravity Export on the left here, and then Dropbox Settings. And here we have this button, Connect to Dropbox. Uh, by clicking that, you'll just have to sign into your account and link it. And once you've established that connection, uh, you can go back to Gravity Export and select that as an option. OK, and then once that's done, again, just click Save Settings. OK, so that's been a quick uh, walkthrough of the Gravity Export plugin. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments below or contact our support team. Thank you.